In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to incorporate an element called an animated revealer in disclosing a text, in this case it will be a name, on the screen. I'd like to show you a short example and then I'll show you how we created it. When we go to creating this, we're going to use an element called the Animated Revealer. It's basically a, an animated graphic file. Now you can either buy one or design one if you have skills in a program like Adobe After Effects. What we're going to start with though is a landscape that will be my background for my introduction here of this realtor and her firm. And the next thing I want to do is I want some music. So I'm going to take this renovations and drag it down to a, a, another track. We'll put it on maybe track four here. And now I have some music as well as my video. Next thing I bring down is a title. I have no titles because I'm not in the title room yet. I'll click on the T on the left side and I'll drag down the default my title. Now in this case I want it eight seconds long. My default is not eight. If I click on the clock I'll find that mine is five. I simply type on the number, press eight and press enter and now I have an eight second long title. Now sometimes I just simply bring in a pre-made title but I'm going to show you how to build one because you can never learn too much about making titles. So I'm going to click on the title and with the box highlighted, I'm going to change the font family. I'm going to go to a script. I can highlight it and type the first characters of the font family. When I find the one I like, I'll press enter and there it's changed. Next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to change a little bit about the appearance of it. I'm going to take the font face, which is a uniform color, and I'm going to make it two colors. So I'll click on two color gradient. I'll click on the Begin With box, and we'll start with a pink, and click on OK. And I'll click on the End With, and I'll click Pink again, but now I'm going to take my slider and intensify it almost to a red here, and click on OK. So here we have the My Title. I'd like to change two other things about it. First of all, I'd like to put a border around it. I'll click the border. The default is blue. I'll click on there and we'll change it to white and click on OK. And I think I'm going to back, back down from 3 to 2, a little more subtle. So now I have the My Title. Now we're going to change the text of that. I'll create another realtor's name. We'll call it uh, Sandy Johnson. And now that we have her on the screen, we'll highlight it and we can click the alignment box on the, just to the lower right of the previous screen. I can horizontal center, click again, and I can vertical center. So now I have Sandy Johnson. But there's a couple other things I want to do with it. I want to cause uh, Sandy Johnson name to appear on the screen in a certain fashion. So I'm going to click on my effect tab on the left, click on starting effect, and in this case we'll do an amplify horizontal. So now I have Sandy Johnson amplifying from the center. Now, I happen to know that the animated revealer is not quite this wide, so I need to narrow it down a little bit. I'm going to go back to my object, and in the property screen, I'm going to knock it back from 48 to maybe 38. I have to highlight all the characters first and type in 38. And then we'll obviously have to recenter it both horizontally and vertically. So now I have Sandy Johnson. I want to change uh, one more element about Sandy, and I want this to fade in. So to do this, I need to do some keyframing. We have some lessons if you're unfamiliar with it, but I'm going to click on the right arrow to the left of the T, and one of the values we can keyframe or change the value of at any moment in time is opacity. So wherever my time indicator is, I'm going to click a diamond, and now we set an opacity value. If I drag down to my object settings area, opacity is now 100%. That's normal. 
I'm going to move into the project a bit and then I'm going to set another opacity value by clicking another diamond and it says it there it's also 100 percent what I'd like to do is go back to the first one the easiest way is to click on the left arrow on the opacity value it snaps over and I'm going to start with zero and then I'm going to modify it a little more I'm going to click in the middle and right now it's 52 percent because it's moving from zero to a hundred from totally invisible to totally opaque. What I'd like to do is slow that down so instead of 52 percent here I'm going to move this back a little bit maybe so 31 or 30 and now it will more gradually go from transparent to non-transparent. So that's how you can use the keyframes on the opacity value to fade in the title any way you want and I could add as many keyframes as I choose. So when I just play the movie for Sandy Johnson popping in and becoming clear from the middle to both ends. What I'd like to do next is add another text so I'm going to click on my title again and that gets me back into my title designer. I click on the T at the top and we'll type another title. We'll call this one Twin Lakes Realty. And you notice it inherits the values of the former title. I don't want that. We're going to change it. So again, all I need to do is drag over the font family. I'm going to do a terminal, grotesque, and we'll change the size to 20. And I'm going to change the color, not pink anymore. Let's make it uh, perhaps a white. Click on OK. And then we'll have a border. We'll click down to border. Go from white, we'll go to a blue. Click on OK. And I think I'll make it bold as well. We'll move up here and make it bold. We're going to click on our alignment and we'll horizontal center it. And I think I want to add one more element. I'll add a shadow. That looks pretty good. We're also going to change one more element in this. And, and what I want to do, I'm going to drag up and, and hide my keyframing values on my first title. I want Twin Lakes Realty to come in after Sandy Johnson is on the screen. So we won't see it to start with. We'll only see it when we get to uh, 2 seconds and 29 frames. The other thing I want to do is change how it comes in. I'll click on my Effect tab. Click on Starting Effect, and let's have it come in with a glow. I'll click on Glow here, and now we, if I hover, I see the word Glow. So when, when this appears on the screen, we'll play part of it, Sandy Johnson's in, and then it glows and sticks. So I'll click on OK, and now we get to the part where we're working with the animated revealer. What I'm going to do is take and drag this and this is the animated revealer. If I play this, it does all these cool animations and then the name comes in. But it's so fast it's not useful. So I'm going to click on that, click on the tools, choose power tools, and then video speed. I'm going to click on the video speed and it's right now it's two seconds long. Let's make it five and press enter and then click OK. So now I've lengthened it which slows it down. So now if I go back and I play this. Now Sandy Johnson is coming in a little faster than I want in the timing so all I need to do to change that is go back to my title track, track number two, get into my title designer Again, it's transparent here, but I think I'm going to actually slow it down a little. And I'm going to keep the opacity a little, little less visible for a, a little more time. And we won't make it actually strong until, let's see where we are. 
You can adjust these keyframes by dragging them very effectively. Let's see if this looks a little better. So we'll click on our movie. We'll play. We have our animated revealer and then the Sandy Johnson comes in and then Twin Lakes Realty. In this case, what I probably would even do would double click again, go back to Twin Lakes Realty and start it a little bit later. So just push it to the right. Click on OK. And you can adjust all these settings as often as much as you want. We'll play it one more time before we end this tutorial. And there we have our animated revealer. Sandy Johnson pops up and then Twin Lakes Realty.